the context was you need to sing this. So it was just anxiety. I, I, was, literally, I was literally about to say it was exactly like, the same oh thing. God. This is so, this is too high. Can I ask you a question? What do you think the song's about? What do I think the song is about? What the song yeah, what that is I wrote? The song what do I think the song that I wrote is about? How did you really like get yourself ready to become like these 70s rock stars? We all got cast just before the pandemic. And at that point, we all had a different distance to go. Like some of us had no experience. Some of us knew a little bit. Some of us knew a lot. And in all honesty, I think one of the best things to have ever happened to this production was the fact that we had like a year and a half delay. And it meant that we could all get up to speed and get to the same page. So when we kind of finally came back together for like this intensive sort of three months band camp before we started filming, that consisted of band rehearsals where we'd have individual lessons and then we'd all come back and have a jam and sort of play through the songs and then me and Riley would be singing. It's what people want to see, it's an act. And I know that you both mentioned Blake Mills who was the mastermind behind all this original music. Do you remember what your first reaction was when you kind of heard those songs? I think the first time I'm remembering now that I heard the music, the context was you need to sing this. So it was just anxiety. I, I, was, literally, I was literally about to say it's exactly like, the same oh thing. God. This is so, this is too high. I was like, this is really, I was like, how do I, I don't, I, I don't know if I can do it. Do you remember having that meeting with Blake and Tony and Frankie, I think, and Ryan, and we were all sat in this, in, in a studio, and me and you were basically going, I don't think I can sing this. This is too high. This is, I, this is way too high. I can't ever get that. And, and they, they were all kind I, of I like, think they were going, mm. oh crap. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But then again, because because they were like, okay, well, we'll change this and we'll change that. And I then the pandemic happened of, and I, they changed nothing. I'm pretty sure there were conversations of like, what do we do? What if they can't sing all these songs? I remember having that conversation once again. Okay, well, we think we'll get someone else to maybe have a stunt vocalist, is yeah, what they like, said. Yeah, and, and do thought, it for that, us or something. What does that mean? And, and I think that that really inspired me to, to work harder. To be better. Yeah, yes. I was <laughs> for like, me, it was like that. the kick up the ass <laughs> I needed, yeah. Obviously, when we auditioned, we auditioned acting-wise, but we never sung together until we were both cast. So I think there was also, I'm sure there must have also been a, oh God. how are these voices going to sound when they're put together? Because not every voice complements one another. We unraveled a long time ago. We lost and we couldn't let it go. Oh my God. I remember doing that first singing lesson with Eric Vitro, the joint one. Mm -hmm. And that was another reason why I was giggling. So it was like a, wow, that, wow. Yeah, we there met she, like so, once and then we walked into this okay. room and had to like sing Aurora together. They wanted us to work on our singing chemistry very early on. From <laughs> I day think one. From day yeah. one. And so we just kind of met and then we're like put face to face <laughs> and they're like sing at each other. <laughs> this is a direct quote from Frankie Pine. And she said she'll never forget when she first heard you guys sing together because it was that good. I think that was the first moment where I saw that we were both on exactly the same page and I was yeah, like we were both like we don't know but it's also sing. like the pressure kind of got lifted a little bit it was like okay it's not just all on my shoulders it's not me miles behind everyone else it was like okay we've got this together we're going through this together and I think there were moments like when I think back to band camp there'd be a week where like I knew a song better than Sam and then a week where Sam would be much better than me and I was like oh <laughs> they were like but I'd forget my harmony or like it was just constantly a struggle we pushed each other to yeah. kind of get better though yeah. in a way it's I don't know it it was like a, a, a team effort. How did you kind of feel yourselves meld with your character, if at all? I think that, that naturally just happens. You sort of take on that person's essence during the shoot. I think there are so many conversations that Billy has in the story that I'm like, okay, I've, I've been here before. And some of them like so, so much so that it was it was actually quite emotional revisiting certain things. That struggle is very real and very relatable for not even just in the creative world, but like whatever capacity of work you might be in. Ah!